Girl greetings. I am lies and I use she her. And I am scandal and I use they them. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Hey. Okay, so we're gonna be playing um a brand new game called The Lion Song and brand new to us. Yes. Like this game was made several years ago, I think. Twenty seventeen or somewhere around. There. It was made a few years. A ago. A few years ago, anyways. Um, it's a as you can see a four episode game. We know very very little about it except that it's set in Austria. And that the story's intertwined, and it's supposed to be a point and click. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to go ahead and start with episode one. Silence. Silence. Silencio. Silencio. Silence. And see how it goes. We've chosen the language for English because it's the only language we know. <gasps> um, milk train station. And we'll just dive right in. Do you have socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Huh. <clears throat> Mama, you packed this suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard! All aboard for Vienna! <sighs> You're right, your mother. Won't you? I have no idea what people's actions should be at all. Oh, I don't even know where they're from. You're right, your mother. Will you? <laughs> Every day, Papa. I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. <laughs> all aboard! Last call for Vienna! There's actually no voices or anything in this game. It's, kind it's of okay. Hot. It's a classic point. You're like, Mama, let the boy go. Uh, uh, wait. He'll get in trouble if he's late. I have no idea who's talking. I don't know who's talking anymore. Give up. My, my, dear, my dear boy, take care. Take care. Uh, are we a boy? I don't even know. I didn't know either. Uh, uh, yes, Mama and Papa. You take care too. Take care. Bye-bye. Wilma first let them on this very train. Now me. I don't know who we are at all. Da, 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 da. Da, na, na, na. Vienna. Uh, Musica de... Musica. Musica. Oh, Musica Academy. Musica Academy. Musica Academy. 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 All right. Academy. And Musica Academy. Here we go. Okay, so this is... Oh, myself. <gasps> That's so great. Okay, but nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, corridor... corridor. Vienna. All of Vienna is out that window. Well, don't forget it's a point and click, so you it's gotta okay, click okay. on We're something. We're gonna click on Vienna. Uh, the view from this office is wonderful. Oh, Vienna. Alright, let's click on myself. How do I love being here? How I love being here? Thank you. Myself. My footies. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am. Is there anything on the desk you can click? Waiting. Maybe, at last, you want to talk about us? Oh no, one of those. Piano? But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it will happen, but it never will. You could always say it yourself, dear. I know it's unconventional, but sometimes when the other person can't say it, you can. <clears throat> you can, and you can also stop waiting. It's true. And you go, hey, this I, thing. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I just had to see you. Had to. It's very important. Sorry, I'm late. You are late. Why did you want to see me? Professor. Oh, no, it's your professor. Oh, dear. Ooh. Uh, are you a student trying to date your professor? Oh, my. Where have you been? I haven't been waiting long. Uh, you know, she sounded very hopeful, like she was trying to be, like, pleasant about the whole thing. So, um, just based on my read so far, I'm say I haven't been waiting long. I haven't been waiting long. Well, to be quite honest. Yes? Extremely hopeful. Wilma. Huh? Your performance at the salon. Mm hmm? It was quite incredible. Oh. The guests could not believe their ears. Oh, we sing. Ah, uh, no, play, probably. Uh, maybe. Oh, yes, they seem to enjoy the music. I'm so glad. I uh, one sounds... It's, it's the... Oh, this is what we're talking about. That yes. One. You know what? That sounds reasonable. She would be... Because she was expecting like, something else. She was really hoping for something else. To, oh, yes. They seem to enjoy the music. Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll say it up there. Okay. Yeah. Um, they want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. My great-grandma's name is Wilma, so this is like my great-great-grandma. Kind of actually. adorable. So I'm kind of like, I'm really distracted. Wilma! Mm. Where? She's dead! Where? Ah! Huh? <laughs> the ghost of Wilma in the game. Ah! <laughs> How long is the... Uh, how is the new composition coming along? Ah, uh, it's more difficult than the others. I'm progressing. Now I think about... Ah, 
we're talking about that, so maybe I'm progressing. Yeah, as you say, sort of still trying not to dig too hard into the subject, going, I really was hoping, sir, that we'd talk about something else. I'm progressing. Your music is so new. It's exciting. You know, you strum, you thump it, the side of it, you use a bow, you use your fingers. It's amazing. You whack your face it's on it. It's experimental. It's beautiful, even. It's good. I love it. It entices. It challenges. Does it entice and challenge you, sir? I think. <laughs> no, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. I'm doing all the work. What do you mean, we? Yeah, there is no we here. There's no we. The future of music. I appreciate that, but are we? Are we? Are we a we? Arthur. Yeah, um, you're, you've been vaguely dating your professor. This oh. is fascinating. I, we must build on the success of your performances. What was that hand gesture? <laughs> Like, no, 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 this thing. I know. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. I see. We have to keep moving. I mean, I'm not stopping. Keep working. Look at the hands kind of coming in like, whoa. Her, you're, like going. You're, you're kind of just... Running. You're, you're being a little... You're finally being enthusiastic, but not about what I want at all. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Hmm. Well, um, that is... What is it? I've started composing it. But... But? Oh, Arthur. I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know what... Uh, how to complete it. Well, I don't say that. We've come so far. You mean I have... I, I do not... Everything anything. we've worked for! There is no we, honey. You, you've gotten we? caught up in the we of this he person. He keeps saying we, and you're going, Are we a couple or not? Mm -hmm. Are we a, a we? What's happened is we've got a, a potentially younger girl. I think she definitely is supposed to be younger. She does look younger, very much, um, visibly. And she's involved with her professor, who mm. is just like, you know, it's just a thing. And you're just sort of my muse, my inspiration, my whatever. Or you're just this great thing that is that I'm watching go. That I'm, I'm also supporting, yeah. Facilitating and supporting. And it could be that they're like physically involved, or it could be that like very much they're um like, just close all the time, working side by side all the time. Mm -hmm. And he keeps saying we and keeps exuding all this passion, all this enthusiasm for her and her work and stuff. And so she's like, so we are on that path because that's us being a we, basically. Right. And you want to be and do things with me. I think it's far more clear cut than that. Because most of the time, is. based on the, the tropes of this, this is a I'm sleeping with my teacher and my professor. And I'm waiting for it to become official. Yes. And going, um, and I'm hoping that he will pick up on the signs because I'm younger than him and I assume he knows what he's doing. That uh, that I do want it to be a, an official relationship, yeah. not an under the boards. I'm also like, God, we haven't played like a, just a really simple, out there, like messy, straight relationship for a while. A long time, actually. We, we do play a lot of The closest thing show. we did was like freaking Huddleful Boyfriend and that's dating a bird. Bird. So I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I don't think dating birds um, is is your standard uh, heteronormative. No, I don't think so. Either. I think it's a little bit out there. Yeah. Worked for. I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. A little gesture over and over again. I shake my fist in enthusiasm. It's the pressure from the institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention. Everyone wants you, except you. you. Recognizing you on the street. And even more pressure from me. Honestly, the little, the little like weight of the vibrating words is kind of charming. Like just to indicate what kind of speaking is going on. Oh yeah. Well, it's also like people going, "You're not supposed to use italics in writing." Have you ever heard that where they talk I about have. in like literature where they're like, "It's inappropriate to use things to emphasize words or whatever else." And you're like, "Why?" And I'm like, "Italics are great." And the thing is, is if someone else is writing it, trying to figure out what their words are and what they mean based on context of body language and of like punctuation and scene context can be difficult sometimes. So having as much help as you can is really cool. Also, though, I want to say him going, I'm acknowledging that I'm putting you under pressure, too, but lamp just just acknowledging it doesn't help. Nope, not at all. All right, here we go. Vienna is a city. We can't change that. What does that have to do with anything? No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself. It's momentum. Ah. Uh, you get to decide. You know what? We're just... She's out, like, to me, I'm like, you're just sort of now dodging around and thinking, well, no, it's not you. Or, also, it's Vienna's in... a city. Well, you can't change that. Like, she's trying to talk around it because she's waiting for him to do it. See, so she's me, not going to have the option, I think, to... For me, I'm getting the, no, it's not you, Arthur. Don't blame yourself. Think about how I don't blame you. Oh, yeah, That's what I'm them. getting. Yeah, we could go with that. Mm -hmm. 
No, it, it's not you, Arthur. Whatever else the problem may be, it's definitely not you. Don't think you're the problem or you might draw away from me, you know? Yeah. You need a change. That's clear. Listen, I'll have a cabin in the mountain. I have a cabin in the mountains. You do. Everyone oh, yeah. does. You will be able to work there. I will. I can't accept that. Uh, You've done too much for me already. Would you come with me? Ooh. That is the closest we've gotten to her going... I want her to be direct. She's really, she really was in this space of going, and it might, it might absolutely based on the like. Well, that's indirect, but that's as direct as she seems to get. Well, that's what I mean, though. Based on the the cues of their clothing and the sort of era cues. Yes. Women weren't supposed to be direct, based on my knowledge of history. However, and this is also Vienna, and I don't uh-huh. know what it's like. I just say I don't know what it's like there either. I know that she's waiting for him, but it doesn't mean that she just say has to. Oh. That actually would be a good question to ask also, too, of going like, well, I don't know if the era necessarily matters, or is this, because this could be an American studio going, or a different studio, would going, this, well, we're just making assumptions Would here. this be culturally brazen and inappropriate based on how relationships usually run, or yeah. is it just how her ideas of things are? Is this more of an American trope or something else? Right. All right. But I think, I think for her, she really is, like, I'm getting these, she wants to know what this is. Yes. She really isn't focused on her music at all, even if she's getting, like, super famous right now. People recognizing you on the street before there was a lot of, like, um, telecommunication and stuff like that. Is amazing. That is a lot. So I was also going to say, based on what I'm hearing, is also she's really just stuck in her music. She's experiencing art block, if you will, mm-hmm. writer's block music block because she's in love with him and he's not being clear with her and she doesn't know what the relationship is. Right. So she's she's probably inspired in a lot of ways on her own and then was more basically entranced because he got so involved and now she's conflicted about it. So whatever she did do or enjoyed, he has now been basically, uh, Stifled removed it. and then he's he's taken onto himself and she doesn't she didn't know that that happened right there's also could be a level of i'm spending so much emotional energy on not knowing what this is between us right and not having a clear labeled thing or a resolution oh yeah it's taking up all my that's other taking energy. all my creative energy okay would you come would with you come with me would you come with me i that would hardly help your reputation which is all we care about yes hmm. you need time alone mm-hmm. the quiet yes Quiet. And perspective, dear. Yes. He is not that into you. Nope. Uh. I'll take care of things here. On the other hand... I mean, the thing is, is him going, well, again, like, I remember where they have talked about, even historically, for, so, like, mostly, like, cis women in the U.S., Mm -hmm. but, like, the idea of women's sexuality or women really being sexual at all, women did not desire, at least in the U.S. I wonder how much of that is actually, again, applicable to Vienna, and how much, again, like... If there's actually an influence from the team here, or if they're even aware of, like, where is the studio from? Yeah, I don't know what, where the studio. Yeah, I don't know what the um the cultural background of the of the writers was. Yeah. Uh, they, but yeah, there was there is this um cultural history of um American women being expected not to be the desirer, but the desire e, and they're sort of bold, brazen, inappropriate, and or like lower class or slutty if they do. Yeah. And if you're a proper woman, you just hang around and wait to be desired. Yeah. So yeah, without knowing the tropes, I'm just like lost a little bit. Arthur. I, I, that's me. That's you. Uh, Arthur, I can't. I'm not asking. I'm moving you there. I, it's settled. Uh, a carriage will pick you up tomorrow. Mm. Oh, that's aggressive. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. I always keep it stocked with food in little tins. You'll be fine. You'll eat crackers and tuna for a month. Ah, you'll be fine. Pack lightly. Uh, You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Oh, it's the violin player trope. Oh, no. Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. Very defensive. (sighs) You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. A short hike. I love that, too. Going, I got a Kevin. Good luck. You have to walk most of it. I'll give you a ride to it, out of the city and up to the mountains. But, you know, you have to you have to hike the mountain itself. Which is possibly going to be anywhere from five to ten miles. Right? I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is for the best. You're kind of being a jerk. You will be completely alone. No distractions. I haven't said that would help me. You've said that would help me. Jerk. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm familiar with this kind of problem solving, actually. And this is really cute. Look at the Somewhere in everything. the end. Um, but, okay. So, um... There's this thing that some people do, and I've seen it more commonly in men, but it doesn't mean that women can't do it, and or envies, um, other. I was say, but it is, it's the sort of thing where someone goes, I've got a problem, or someone goes, you've got a problem. 
And then either you explain your problem or they tell you what their pro your problem is. And then the, uh, the person who wants to solve the problem tells you how to fix it. They don't ask you what would help you. They don't ask you, how could I assist you? They tell you what would fix it based on their current knowledge. He's going, oh, you're Mark Block, being alone will fix it. He's not going, what would help? Yes. And there's been a lot of times that I've seen in my life, honestly, where people have given up on helping other people, where they go, ah, you have a problem getting to places on time? Well, I'll carpool with you. They don't go, why are you always late to work? Right. What's going on? You know, or why are you breaking the rules? They just go, let me do a thing that I believe will stop you from doing that. Yes, I know what your problem is. And then, is. Yeah. if it doesn't fix with their solution, then there's usually angry and disconnection. Yeah. Somewhere in the Alps. Forest. Forest. Mountains. Telephone poles. Where even click on all of it? I know. Almost there. Uh, just a bit further. Rock. No. More forest. Just a few more steps. Come on. Phew. Oh, and you only get a few times. Look at her go. Oof. I have finally arrived. Has another mile up the path. I have arrived. I have arrived. Look at this. Also, that is I said, a though. huge fucking like cabin. At the for distance, those trees. Okay, like with the size of these poles, which you know how high a telephone pole is. Yeah, that's a. Huge that's a large cabin. That's like a three-story cabin or something. That is like a beast. Uh huh. That's it. Ah, oh, this cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. I hate to tell you that I believe you're wrong. Okay, is this your old violin, and then this is your new violin, and then you just packed what you're wearing? Well, that would be horrible. Wow. Tiny and bag. Tiny, uh, tiny bag. An inspiration is waiting, and inspiration is waiting for me down there. Forest. Rock. Myself? Nope, not myself. Well, uh, I just... Telephone poles. It doesn't tell me anything. The only connection from this place to the outside world. Well, let's head to the cabin, shall we? That must be the cabin at last. Hopefully, inspiration waits for me down there. How do we go down there? Path. This path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. Do you move with... No, not arrow keys. Nope. Maybe you just have to keep clicking through things? I think you do. The cabin at last. Inspiration. Are there are other path. things you can click on. I'm, I'm looking for it. Forest up here is so dense. I wonder if it's like you need to fur you get all the story before you're allowed with to move needles. forward. You almost can't see through. Okay. So dense. Thick with needles. Look at the mountains again. Ah, dark clouds hang over the mountains. It's almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. Yeah, the telephone lines are flapping about. It won't be long until the storm is here. Meaning, yeah, I'd better hurry. You really should. Um, so what else is there? The mountains, which you haven't clicked on yet. I've clicked on them a couple of times. Not recently since she showed up. I'd better hurry. Okay, mountains. It's so peaceful up here. Try again. So high above the world. Vienna must be somewhere beyond those mountains. Cool. I've never been to the mountains before. You are young, probably. There's so much to see. So high above the world. All right, now what? Looks Look, like a storm is brewing. It looked like. Looked like a storm is brewing. That looks like. I might just make it before the rain. There okay, it. you do. You have to get you the whole story. You had to click through all of it. Interesting. Okay, I actually find that to be sort of frustrating, though. Okay. Going, if you don't click it. And there's nothing. We're not, like, doing any, like, point-and-click activities yet. No. We're just in setup. The lion song. Well, the big reason. Okay, so for me, having never grown up on point-and-click stuff, mm -hmm. my perception would always be, like, if there's not anything to, like, pick up or necessarily that you have Dude. to interact with, like, because you could miss stuff, even for the basic, you know, stuff that I ever saw, uh -huh. you didn't have to click through all the descriptors. Mm -mm. It wasn't necessary. So this forcing you to seems a little bit It's different than forced. I'm used to. I say it's different than I'm used to. I assume I, being more used to point and clink, am expecting it to change mm -hmm. afterwards to get more item and activity oriented, but we'll see. I do like the art. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. I say, I made it just before the rain. All right. Hopefully, it will stop soon. The um, atmospheric blocking of the blackness, though, I actually mm. like. The reminds minimalism, me of, yeah. Reminds me of book pages where you have just an illustration that's a partial page. Isn't it like uh, it's a liminal space? What is it called? Negative space. Negative space. The negative space um, appeals to me. Mm. The telephone. The walk up here was exhausting. Looks at the camera. Phew. 
All right, Wilma. It's time to unpack your bag. Oh, All right. telephone. Telephone. My materials are still in my luggage. Can't use the telephone without those. Cabinet door. It's locked. Lantern? The lamp casts a dim light. So I think in order to see other things, you've got to click through the text before you're allowed to see mm -hmm. if there's anything else to click on. The flame dances quietly to and fro. And flares up briefly before subsiding. A little whoosh sound. My violin. If you haven't unpacked, how's your violin there? My old Ping. violin. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. Alright, drawn. Dusty. But empty. The drawer is locked. Huh. Alright, uh, table? Bag, there it is. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Oh god, did you not bring anything? Music paper. Look at her breathing, that was fascinating. I think that's new. Uh-huh. Ah, here it is. One sandwich. of those little deli sandwiches, that's so adorable. Also, poor thing. Oh, a letter. Who is it from? Wait, in your bag there's a surprise letter? Oh dear. Oh dear. It says, open upon arrival. I wonder oh if it's no. bad news. My dear Wilma, I hope you had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you have started writing already. Of course. Mm -hmm. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings. Indeed. Also, your cabin looks posh as fuck. No shit. Like, damn, dude. Uh, read on, I that's... suppose. However, I have a confession to make. I wish to break up with you. Yeah. Perhaps he has written something about us? No. Before your departure, I started to organize a concert at the Muscovarian in Vienna. Your co your song will have to be ready and practiced by then. Muscovarian, I think? I don't Maybe. remember. I can't remember how to say it. I was able to convince a few illustrious colleagues to offer their works. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Hmm. I had to call in many favors, but... Her, I have lost enthusiasm. Mr. Schoenberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mahler have all agreed to participate. Mahler, I think. Mahler, it might be, yeah. Mm. It will be a glorious evening, and your composition will be the centerpiece. Grand finale! Oh, she again. Will my imagine it? I understand that this is all very abrupt. Yes, for that I apologize. But now is your time. <sighs> the musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. Whoa. Whoa, pressure, asshole. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. Whoa. The stress is real. Oh, baby. A concert? One week? How oh, is this less pressure? Yes. Well, I sent you up to the cabin to relax. And then I forgot to tell you that I'd done this thing, so you'd better hurry. Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped here, with the storm outside, and within me, silence. Because yeah, he's a horrible person. He's, he's deeply sad. selfish, and also, again, because, like, socially, going, why would women oh. want more? Oh, God. Fine. Fuck you. I'll let it ring one more time, I suppose. Is it gonna ring again? Oh, there hello. we go. Uh, hello? Uh. Je t'aime, Nectar. Uh, excuse me? Oh, German? Uh, yes. Uh, who is this? With whom do you wish to speak? Are you sure you have the right number? Well, just because you who is this, we're distressed. So these sound much more formal than someone yes. who's very distressed. Uh, who is this? I, um, well, <laughs> my name is Leos. Uh, okay. Are you still there? I'm just waiting on you, sir. Yes? Amazing! I, I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? Uh, I'm in Austria. I'm in where the Alps. Where are you calling? Where are you calling from? I'd rather not say it. Just where are you calling from? That was weird. Where are you? So, where are you calling from? I am in southern Bohemia. And you, madame? Uh, I'm far away. Very far. Uh, Leos, I assure you, I'm a long way away. <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over long distances. But do I actually hear a voice? Oh, you are new to the telephone. It's amazing. Uh -huh. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. So it crumbles. I really was about to eat. Oh, what? good job, friend. What was that? Don't worry, it's just, um, mm, thunder. There's a storm. There's a storm here. 
Uh, yeah. That sounded a bit closer. <laughs> it's a dog. Oh, wasn't that you? I didn't hear anything. How embarrassing. I think that's why she's kind of defeated. Yeah. Just being like, uh, how embarrassing. I hear this noise every day when my guests come with me with to me with empty bellies. You can't feed me over the phone, sir. Are you an innkeeper? Yes. I am. Oh, wow, good job. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they are fresh out of the pot. With a rich, hearty sauce. Okay, that sounds tasty. That's adorable. Uh, she's like, no. Mm. Uh. Uh, when you cut into one and the steam comes out. Sounds delicious. Stop, please, George. It sounds like you are your, your own, own best, best customer. customer. Just delicious. She sounds like she's like this. Uh. Ah, they sound delicious. They are delicious. Mm. You have to come by one day so I can cook some for you. I, I wish I had some here right now. Of course you wish that. Oh. I wish it too. I apologize. It sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madame. Ah. Uh, huh. Mm. You know, I am very sorry. Huh? Uh, where are my manners? I didn't ask your name. I didn't even ask your name. Yes, I got it. My name. It's well, I think I think we're just confused. Like my, my name? My name. Will you tell me your name? Um, yeah, we'll just say it. Um, Wilma. Mm. The little mouth flaps are kind of cute. Yes, yes. It was a pleasure to speak with you, Wilma. Wilma. Wilma, hello. Because the little Wilma. Hey, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? Ah. Uh, they gave me a number. One, two, five, five. Uh, maybe. I hope so. Ah. Huh. Goodbye, Leos. Thank you for your call. I really <laughs> have to eat now. I think we're just going to say goodbye, Leos. Like, it's just a little bit final. Yeah. Like, goodbye, Leos. I'm just hungry, I'm distressed, I'm overwhelmed. My partner's just hurt me really badly. Goodbye, Vilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. Maybe. You click your sandwich. Sandwich. Oh nom, my nom, god, nom, she's nom. so hungry! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. That is amazing and oh, very good. charming. Nom, 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 nom. It may not be dumpling, but it tastes... Delicious. Honestly, the wax paper that they wrap things in sometimes in, dumb, in our delis is uh -huh. very charming. Yeah. I'm so tired. Also, like, I feel so bad for she. Like, how can I write if I cannot go outside? Uh -huh. I'm like, that is how you write. You go outside. As a person who and is I bet you. happy and comfortable in nature. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that they, they, they prefer to sort of have wandering around. I'm like, uh, that's just so much like your partner literally has no goddamn idea really what your process is. You uh -huh. just make magic. That's all. Uh -huh. That's all you do, Wilma. It's amazing. And again, doing it by in the way that I consider to be important. Going, oh, well, it's because you, you need t space to yourself. You're too overwhelmed by things. Sir, you're thinking things are a big deal. I'm not even considering, nor have I mentioned in my own narrative, that I'm popular, I've done something important right now. I'm just going, what does he think of me? Where are we going with this? What is this? It was just too much for my first day. She does look exhausted. Oh, baby. Aww. Poor thing. Hey, Toy Tari. Outside, behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Beside Wilma, someone stirs. What? Beside her? Oh, oh, flashback. They are. They're completely involved. Well done, friend. Yes. They are utterly involved, but also, it, it, yeah, all told me. Mm. What did we drink? I was going to say it's inappropriate, probably. Lamb? No. Well, you know, you were just having a party. Flashback. That's what happened. I don't feel drunk. Shoes. Your shoes. These can't be mine. I could never afford them. Oh, there is a real big class discrepancy, too. Damn. I mean, they could be your shoes. So soft. Hello? Perfect Arthur. There we go. <laughs> Myself? Wilma? Are you awake? Ah. Uh, okay, can we save here? I nope, it auto saves. saves. Oh, so we're good? Cause... I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know how to tell what this game does, guys. Also, I am terrified of, of doing other, hitting other buttons in order to stop things from happening, so I don't yep. know what's going to happen. It's okay, it's okay, we can do this. All right. I am now. I am now? Oh. It's late. Uh, how did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Ah. Uh, 
Stay a little longer, or something's wrong. I don't think we're super suspicious yet. We're still sleepy. Stay a little longer. Well, we haven't really looked at the rest of the place. Exactly. Sooner. With me? I really have to go. I, I'm expected at the Institute. We've been together such a short time. I'm sleepy, but it's your Institute. Oh, shit. Oh, he's like the Dean or some shit. Oh, damn. Um, let's see. But it's your Institute. This one. I think this one. Again, she's still being more polite. And also just going, this is what I care about. Uh huh. We've been together such a short time. <laughs> We've been together all night and we didn't get much sleep. Oh, dear. <laughs> I did I learn my lessons well? Yes, and you are my student. Mm, that's a trope. Mm. We should not be together in the first place. Ah, oh. there we are. Is that what we are? Student and teacher, secret lovers, together. Oh. I think it's this one, and then you wonder if it will move forward, because I think she knows this is what they are. This feels though more like it's a dream kind it of does. thing. It so does. So she might be more honest. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been kind of wondering a little bit if she's just going to fade in this and how much it wiggles. Uh, I think this is her sleeping, trying to, trying to sort out her own process in her cycle. Okay, you can go secret lovers as well. I think... Like, I don't want to stop you. I'm like, I'm kind uh, of curious about all of this anyway. I am too. I'm, I'm interested in what the different choices are like. This is sort of between a point and click and a visual novel, interestingly. It's like a hybrid. Yeah, I'm actually kind of having a weird... That's why I'm like, why do we also have to look at everything if it's a point and click? Then that, again, like I said, I was prepared for what I understood a point and click to be. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me that you have to see everything on the screen, mm -hmm. but if it's a visual novel, then, then that makes more sense because just... we have to tell you everything that's here. Because you're reading through the story, yeah. yeah. I think this one is the problem that she has, too. Not really like, we're just this, it's like, we're this thing, which pushes for not we're only teacher and student, but we're, we are secret lovers. Secret lovers? Distant church bells chime the hour. Six o'clock? I'm already late. Hmm. And can you think what on? could you could be so urgent, or who are you meeting? Oh, oh, okay. You have to look. I I was back to the room. Sorry. What could be so urgent? Today I'm getting Schonberg's contribution. I have to be there. It will be marvelous. Ah, Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. Oh. And now she's trying to pull away. All of the stress is real. What are you doing? Imagine what you could be in a year. Stop it. You're hurting me. The future of music. Oh, yeah, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. No! Ow! Arthur! No! Ouch. See, and then there's your saving. Yeah. Idea. Okay, and then we've saved. All right, guys. Well, we, uh, now that we've had the lion save and I know what we're doing. Um, I think this is good for a first episode. Do you yes, think absolutely. Uh, thank so, you very much, everybody, for joining us. This is fascinating. Wild, odd, but really different. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We have some links in the description down below. And also we have a link to our Twitch if you would like to play games live with us because we do stream anywhere from two to three times a week. Sometimes we do pop-up streams though, so sometimes we definitely do a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with you. Bye! Bye.